Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to show you how to notify your users or your customers of your application or your game about new version of your game. So how it's going to work in my case? I'm going to paint this picture for you. So the blue it's your game. Actually, it's not your game, it's Dropbox. Dropbox it's a very cool uh, service uh, where you can upload your files and keep them all there. So I have a free account, it's 2 gigabytes, and I strongly recommend you to use this. It's a cool service. So I upload uh, a text file to Dropbox. Okay, let's me. Uh, type here Dropbox Dropbox like this this is a service Dropbox I uh, upload here text file text file this is so this is a text file with uh, only one line of text it's going to be a latest version of my application so let's just say it will be 1.1. .1. Then there is a standalone application, Unity 3D application, which has a one string uh, mm, um, baked into the game. So it's version of the game. Let's just say it has a string, uh, you know, this 1.0. Okay, not not 1.0 because in my script it's not working correctly. Let it be 1.01. .01. So it's correct now. And uh, once player launches the game, the game connects to my Dropbox account and reads this file, text file. And if this value is uh, mm, uh, less than this one then it says the player you have outdated version of uh, mm, uh, of your game please update and if uh, this version equals to this um, text in text file then it says, okay, your version is cool, it's up to date. And this is just an image. Let's go to practice. I'm going to show you how it's working. Actually, it's only one script. It's a very basic script. Uh, let's just create a new Unity 3D project. I'm going to show you that it's working from, uh, you know, from the empty project. New project. Unity auto update actually i have a goal to make it uh, uh, download files automatically but still i have no idea how to do this so i'm working on it create project then uh, there is a text file uh, with version which is available on my dropbox account so it has this this version 1.01 uh, I don't know but for some reason unity uh, has error if I have you know this version so I keep it like this like this so this is actually version number one but I keep this number you know to make unity not crash I mean not give me errors and this is your empty project. You have to actually I will delete everything and I create empty game object. And then I take this script and I drag it into my so you will need to download it and drag it into your Unity project. Like this. What's going on? Okay, it's okay. Then I drag this script to my empty game object and what do we have here? So we have here link to my 
I mean, you know, also yours uh, text file. So the very important part here is to keep this ending row equals one. It's very important. Then uh, I keep this version just like this. I will change it to this version. So it's correct now. So actually, uh, now we have uh, the version of this game equals uh, the latest version on the server and if we hit play button I'm open console you will be able to see that it will give us a notification so it will connect to server and say you have the latest version of the game but let's just say uh, the developer updated version of the game um, so now it's like uh, 1.1 1 .1 control save uh, let's just launch it again so we launch our game again and it connects to my dropbox and well it will say you have outdated version of the game so it's now correct but I'm going to show you the error I have so why I recommend you to keep this you know uh, uh, like this not like this so if I uh, keep it like this so I will show you what is going to happen so I click play and it will give me error I have no idea why what's going on so uh, the only reason uh, I have about this error it's about the number so it's something about the number so I just uh, changed this to 1.01 .01 and now it's working correctly so you should consider this as version number one so yeah and uh, that's all guys it's very simple so the next step for me is to realize how to make uh, the game up you know download files automatically and replace uh, uh, old files so there actually this process should happen before we actually launch the game so it should be some kind of launcher so uh, because if we launch the game we will be not able to replace the game data files so it should be uh, before the game actually launch it yeah that so that's all guys uh, thanks for watching the links to the script will be available in description and if you like this video feel free to dislike to unsubscribe to dislike to hate <laughs> yeah and the links will be in description and the next part uh, I hope it will happen it's about automatic downloading of, of files to replace old contents of old version of your game or your application yeah thanks for watching have a good time bye 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 and have a good time see you later in, in, in the next video of something very interesting or maybe not very interesting bye <laughs>